Hello and welcome to this short video uh, explaining how to use the FX Options Analysis Spreadsheet. Before we get into any nitty gritty details, I thought we'd take a quick overview of the spreadsheet. The first sheet is actually called Begin and it includes a lot of instructions that you might want to refer to later as you enter trades to see what the conventions are and, and how to enter the positions. The real things happen on the trade sheet, which is this one. Uh, the first area here is where you tr select your trading pair. These next few numbers here are necessary to enter for the uh, valuation of the options. This next area is entering the date and spot when you put the trade on. And this next area here is to revisit the spreadsheet later at a later date and put in the spot there and then you can see what the value of the positions is and trade value is at that time. The main part of the spreadsheet is where you enter the trades is here. You can see that you can enter up to four different legs. You can select whether they're a put, a call, or a spot. You enter the strike, the number of lots that you want to trade, and negative represents a short position, and the bid, ask, and expiry. This next area here represents a calculation of the net premium at expiry, the value of the positions, and the trade value. Then we come down to this area here, which is calculating a few of the Greeks for the particular trade that you've got on for each individual one and then for the net. And then finally, we have the most important part probably, and that is graphing out the results of the trade uh, versus the spot and your profit and loss here. So now let's go ahead and take a look at a specific trade. All right, so go, let's go ahead and put on a trade. Today we're going to use dollar yen as an example. And as I look at the chart here, I observe that uh, we've had a recent drop of about 300 pips from 93 down to 90. And since I'm long-term bullish on this pair, I'm going to go ahead and enter a bullish trade on this. So let's go ahead on our trading Excel spreadsheet here. The first thing that I want to do is to select the trading pair, dollar yen. The next thing that I need to do is to put in the implied volatility. Now you can get this in a number of different places, but I'm going to get it from my trading platform here and it looks like that's about 13.3%. So we'll put that in there. Uh, the risk-free rate is generally a one-year treasury rate and so that's what we'll just leave that there. The dividend is actually zero for these trading pairs since both of them are offering a nothing at the time. Today is the 24th, so we'll put in the 24th of twenty ten. And the entry spot right now is uh ninety thirty, so we'll go ahead and put ninety point three in there. And ninety point three in here in uh, today's spot. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and put in a long call. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a call just slightly out of the money, say about 93 or 92. And uh, so we'll put in the strike of 92. We're going to be long one lot. The bid ask is 1.85 and 2.02. .02. And we're going to go for an expiry of the 24th of May. So let's zero out these other things here right now. And then what I need to do is hit F9 to force a recalculation. And then we'll rescale the chart. And we see your classic uh, P&L for a call. So we have down here the premium that we've paid. And then as the spot rises, we get more and more into the money. Now what I'd like to do is to offset the cost of that premium somewhat by doing a short call, say around 96. And if I do that, I'll be able to offset a lot of my premium, and I don't believe that it's going to get a whole lot higher than that at the within the next few months. And so there's my bid-ask spread for the strike at 96. If I hit F9 and then recalculate and rescale my chart, 
Now I see that I'm paying about 150 bucks and my upside is nearly $250. So that's a good looking trade there. Um, we have a, uh, a positive win-loss ratio and a good chance of, of ending up in the money. We'll notice here that the markers represent the extent of volatility uh, movement and so I'm well within that here. So we have a good chance of, of getting up that far within the time period that we have. Okay, so now we have our bull call spread, and it looks pretty good. We have a positive win-loss ratio, but I'm still not quite satisfied with this trade because I'm still paying $150 to put it on. And I'm always looking for opportunities to offset premium uh, at low risk. So one of the things that I often look at is the possibility of selling an out-of-the-money option that uh, is unlikely to get hit. And in this case, if we look at the price action again, uh, we note that it looks like there's a very strong support down here at 86, 87. And in fact, if we look back 10 years or so, it's never really been even lower than that. So a really good possibility here would be to sell a put down around 86 or 87. So let's put on a third leg here and select put at 87. And we're going to sell this, so that's uh, minus one lot. And if I check my trading platform here, what the premiums are for 87, it would be 1.43 and 1.59 for the bid ask spread. And so if I hit F9, now I notice that uh, my net premium has gone to about zero. If I hit rescale on the chart, now we've got um, this very interesting looking payoff curve. Notice that we have an almost zero cost for this whole range here uh, at expiry. Now that it does have some negative here and positive here before expiry, but we essentially have uh, zero risk from 92 down to 87. And if our direction is correct, then we're going to make um, some nearly $400 here, $385 per lot. And we only experience a loss if the spot price drops below 87, which we've seen is quite unlikely. So the net result here is that we've reduced our premiums to almost zero, and uh, we have still a payoff of $400. So I really like the way this trade has turned out. Um, got a very low risk and a nice win to loss ratio. All right, let's take a different tact here. Let's assume that we're already long the spot, the underlying. And let's say that we went long uh, when the spot was 89. So our entry was 89. So when we put this in, we'll select spot here and put 89 in for the strike. We'll put one lot in, we're long one lot. The bid and ask do not get used in spot trades in this tool uh, because the spreads are so low compared with option spreads. So our payoff curve is just like we would assume, uh, up and to the right here uh, when the spot increases and down and a loss as the spot decreases. So let's go ahead and take a look at the price action and see where we might want to sell a covered call. And it looks here like there's some strong support at 93. So let, let's select 93 as a place to go short. So we'll put 93 in for our strike, minus one because we're selling this. And our bid ask spread is 138 and 154. So we'll put in 1.38 and 1.54. And once again, we'll hit F9 recalculate. I do want to point out uh, very importantly that when we have zeros, that those legs don't get counted in the valuation. Only the legs that have a number in the lot get counted into the valuation. So let's go ahead and hit F9 and then we'll rescale our chart and we can see that we've picked up a net premium of $132 and let's see what it's done to our P&L curve. We notice that uh, we've moved this whole line up above zero by that net premium and we've uh, collected our net premium and then we've limited our gain here to anything above 93 because our call will be called away at that point. So that is another way to use this tool is to combine options with underlying spot uh, and uh, generate extra premium and you can see the way that payoff curve looks.